Let's get out of here. Put on your big boy pants and follow me. I'll see if I can get the train started. You check the train for supplies, and keep the OD off me! Check the train for supplies. What the hell does that even mean? I don't know. Build a weapon or something. Oh, okay. <sighs> Let me see what I can put together. I guess this was heading to Toys for Terrorists? One of these. Some of this. Some of those. Cute and explodey. Like chocolate and peanut butter. just drove a freight train. I did. You drove the shit out of it. I saved us. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Come on, our safe house is just down the street. So, Sam, what were you doing at that factory all by yourself? Oh, you know, looking for supplies for me and my friends. They sent... out because they're all doing other important stuff back at the base important stuff like what I'm not really sure yeah, these friends of yours are they really friends I like to think so we were all students at Oxford West College Oxford West isn't that the school that all the rich and famous send their kids to when they have to go into rehab or whatever yeah but it's a great school I got a scholarship. The only scholarship. Everybody else paid their way in. Anyway, when the OD attacked campus, only a few of us made it out alive. One thing before we go in. My friends are having a hard time coping, so go easy on them. If we can get everyone working together, we're gonna make you an amazing propeller.
with those preppy kids? My friend Callista says they're selling clothes and stuff. You go see her if you want to change. Oh, and listen, don't be afraid to try new things. You never know what's gonna fit until you try it on. On that philosophical note, bam, I'm out. Over here. Look into the So am I invited to your birthday party? I had no Did you find that hat? Oh, honey, it looks like you're wearing a poor person costume. So bored. This freaking sucks. I have a new piece that'll help you kill things even better. Can't decide what you want on it? No problem. We offer only one topping. Flavor. Don't know when you have time to sit and eat? No problem. Eat it now. Really, eat it now. Before the cheese substitutes a little You come back soon, okay? But not too soon, though. That's Dirk. His mom is an award-winning physicist, and his dad is an astronaut. He's really good with aerodynamics. Aerodynamics? How convenient. He's also a health nut. He only drinks, like, the most expensive water on the planet. Bora Bora water! You can't afford it! There's a bottling plant a few blocks away. If you can bring back a couple bottles for him... Wait a sec. You're telling me that the only thing that will make this guy get off his ass is some brand name bottled water? You don't know him like I do. I don't want to know him like you do. Trust me, once we give him what he wants, he'll help make your propeller. Just came in. Uh-uh. 
Don't speak. If this wasn't the end of the world, I wouldn't be caught dead talking to someone like you. <laughs> Sorry, pal. But you deserve that. Hey, it's Boy. Just checking in. What are you, my mother? Yes, I was your mother. No, I really don't. Anyway, I found a group of worthless, spoiled brats who just happen to be geniuses. I gotta do some stuff for them, then they'll build me a propeller. Nice. Walter's out at the overpass, rebuilding his life. That propeller's gonna help a lot. Don't tell him I'm working on it. I want it to be a surprise. Walter doesn't like surprises. Then again, he doesn't like much of anything, so see ya. Hello and welcome to Sunset TV. I'm Brandon Winfrey. God, the place is flooded. Guess if I want that precious Bora Bora water, I'm gonna have to drain out this nasty stuff first. Warning. Contamination detected. Facility offline. Awaiting activation of emergency flush system. Time to flush this factory-sized toilet. Emergency flush system activated. Just kidding. Obstruction detected. Pressure level critical. Release safety valves to prevent complete and utter disaster. I think I can grind on those pipes and just hit the valves along the way. Jump on that red thing. Obstruction clear. But you're not done yet. Baby step. Another emergency flush system is awaiting activation. I need to find a valve that'll flush all this garbage away. Emergency flush system number two, awaiting activation. Pressure level critical. Release safety valve or die. with the rule of three, correct? Emergency flush system number three, awaiting activation. Yeah. Where are they all coming from? Emergency flush system, offline, until you figure out where those OD are coming from. Hey, automated intercom lady. I can do with a little less sarcasm, okay? Oh, come on! A dumpster 
Took out the trash. No, wait, wait, I got another one. What a waste of waste. Now I could do better than that. That was just a bunch of rubbish. Not too British. Please, stop. Yeah, okay, sorry. My work here is done. I'm out, bitches. Time to grab that water and get out of here. <laughs> Better get this back to what's-his-face. It doesn't kill him. I mean, not that I had any doubt that you would. Wait here. Hey, Dirk, I got something I think you might like. Sick. Ah, oh, fuck, that's good. Purest water on Earth. Ah, oh, thanks, Sam, you rock. Yeah, sure, anytime. So, uh, can I get that propeller now? Soon. Dirk will certainly help, but we need to get a couple other people on board. That's Margaret. She's an engineering major with, like, the highest GPA in the history of the school. But she lost her dog when everything went down, and she hasn't been the same since. Finding that dog will go a long way to helping her depression. Hey, whatever gets me that propeller. There's a dog park across the river that she always went to. I would check there first. Huh. 
Attention, player! You earn badges from playing with style. The more stylish you are, the more badges you will earn. When you earn enough badges, trade them in for overdrives. Overdrives give you boosts in your abilities. They're awesome! You can now unlock your first overdrive. Select the empty slot to equip a new overdrive. Want to unlock more overdrives? You gotta earn some badges first. You unlock and equip overdrives in the character page. Play how you want, and you'll get better at the things you enjoy. Nice! Yep. The dog park is over in Little Tokyo. You'll have to cross the North Bridge to get there. The bridge? No, I can just jump across on these boats. Wish there was a quicker way to get across the water. Timely. Thanks, text guy. Boats? Yikes. Open water scares me. It's just a river, Sam. The Bermuda Triangle. Hey! The Bermuda Triangle is no laughing matter. Hundreds of ships lost. Thousands claimed by the sea. Not only is it a hotbed for tropical storms and magnetic anomalies, but I am pretty sure I read about alien abductions and leftover technologies from Atlantis causing ultrasonic. See, I found the dog. You did? No, I just wanted to save the world for the rest of your story. <laughs> Just call when you find the dog. What's your name? Boo Boo? Come on, Boo Boo. Margaret's looking for you. What the fucking fuck? Hey, Sam, did you maybe forget some of the details about Margaret's robo dog? The thing won't follow me back. He must be in some kind of recovery mode. If it doesn't recognize the voice trying to command it, it will only interact with its favorite toy, Cutie Kitty. Listen, there's a toy store pretty close to you. Just try looking there for the kitty launcher, okay? Or you could just tell Margaret her dog is dead. That dog means a lot to her. Fine. Oh, wait, Sam. The dog is following me now. Oh, great. Oh, uh, no. Just committed suicide. Sorry, mission failed. What's next? Just check the toy store before giving up, okay? But giving up is my special move. Uh, 
Okay, dog, got something you might like. Please work, please. Yeah, you like playing fetch? You want me to throw this thing for you? Hmm, how can I make this fun for me, too? How about... Yeah. Hey, Sam, I got this stupid dog excited. Now, how do I reboot it? Not the best news to break to you, but Margaret has to do that here. <laughs> of course she does. Just try to get used to how he moves. You have a long trek back. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Go get it! So, while the dog's in recovery mode, he'll only go places he recognizes. Margaret always walked Boo Boo over the North Bridge. Try luring him there. Ready for another? One other thing. You can't use your guns. The dog will sense you as a threat and kill you. Well, at least this will all be over. Don't worry. The dog will defend you as long as you have the cutie kitty. Try him out. It's actually pretty cool. Uh. Your kid. Who got that kitty? Who did? Who got the kitty ready? Okay, dog. Sam says you're a killing machine. Let's see if you can kill some OD for me. Robo rabies. Fetch! 
All right, Mitch. let's see if you can make this jump. Okay, where did Margaret walk the dog next? Hopefully it's a place with more things to kill in it. Down to the intersection, and then down the main street to Sasquatch and friends. Thank you, Sam. You're the best. Sure. Anytime. Yeah, really nice work, Sam. Okay, we need to convince just one more person to help. Then we can start building your propeller. 
Quickly, child. I have new styles here, perfect for your irregular size. Max is the math wizard at Oxford West. If anyone can calculate a propeller for optimal lift, it's him. I think he's worried about his parents. Maybe you could go check on them. Max's parents live in the penthouse suite, but the, those Fizco execs make a lot of money, you know. Well, there might be a product recall on their latest drink. I'm just saying, I'm sure that can't help the stock price. You'd think, right? But nobody on the outside knows yet. Most of their stockholders probably think everything is running smoothly. With perhaps the exception of Max's parents. Correct. They're probably dead. But there is a chance they made it into their panic room. Oh, of course they have a panic room. I had an entire panic room. It just looked like my normal apartment. but with boarded up windows and me inside, panicking. Isn't there a chance Max's parents turned into OD when everybody else did? It's possible. Be careful when you open that panic room door. Fair point. Yeah. They're the new gun. <laughs> yeah, I'm here at the fancy town tower. Giving me a heads up that this place was crawling with scabs. How would I know? I'm practically a shut in after horror night. Although, it makes sense. Once you secure the bottom floor, you have all that living space above you. much. Loot, nice.
Barricade doesn't look too solid. That's scab ingenuity for you. Sure, I can bring it down somehow. Are those explosive barrels hidden behind the barricade? How <laughs> irresponsible. And convenient. Thank you for not making me start at the bottom. This makes perfect. Let's try again. Yes, I'm awesome! Will somebody please cast me in a Jim Potter remake? You know what building climbers need? Oxygen! Guess what? Overcharge has carbon dioxide bubbles! Dioxide means twice as much oxygen! I guess you gotta die a few times before you can really live. <clears throat>
Jack, I updated my inventory. Come give me a look, okay? No panic room here. Let's be on the taller tower. Time to check the panic room. Please don't make me find some weird sex stuff. <laughs> Voice recorder. Max's parents dying words? Let's find out. Security breached. Oh shit. the loot got to listen to that voice recording before i head back max needs to know what happened to his parents Hearing 
this message that it means you're still alive. Shame. Your mother and I are going to live in the Bahamas, where cashing out your trust fund so mommy can drink a lot of champagne and daddy doesn't have to get a new job. Anyway, best of luck. By the way, have you tried drinking our new overcharged drink yet? I think you like it. Well, at least the dick bag left a message. Max is now poor and an orphan. We should probably just tell him his parents were skeletons in a bathtub. Just get back. We'll figure out the least worst thing to tell him. So, Sam, you're sure your friends are going to listen to you now? Sure, I'm yeah. sure. Things to you, they think I did all this great stuff for them. You're sort of a modern-day Cyrano Berger. I have no idea. Well, of course I'm referencing the play, not the real Cyrano. Whatever. Be whoever you need me to be, as long as I get that propeller. <laughs> Well, his parents are still alive, but they're major assholes. Stole his money and left him for dead. Yeah. I'll break the news. Yes! Freedom! Thanks, Sam. Best news ever! So, Sam, you expect us to believe you went out and did all this stuff by yourself? I think you had a little help. Who gives a shit what you think? You guys just sit on your asses all day while this hero goes out into the city, all to get you a bunch of useless shit so you can be happy. I don't know about you, but that inspires me. Makes me want to be a hero to this hero. I know we can do it. Together. We're gonna have to work hard. Uh, Sam forgot one thing. If you don't help him, I'll throw your ass out on the street to fend for yourself. I'm on board with this. Hey, let's get to work. Cool speech. I'm ready. What is it? It's a 3D printer. It's gonna make you a new propeller. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know. Mm, but it needs a faster processor. Of course it does. <sighs> I'll see what I can find. a cheerleader kill a bunch of scabs and then steal their stuff. You're telling me to be careful because of uh, cheerleaders? Well, more like cheerleader assassins. Right. Tell Margaret to take a break from the comic books. So, Floyd, any idea where I can find some high-end computer parts? 
Computer parts? Nope. You sure? Yep. Oh, no! There's a guy that lives in a cell phone tower nearby. He's got a ton of computers. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's what I thought. I'll check it out. How do I get over there? Watch yourself up there. Been hearing a lot of gunfire coming from up in that treehouse. Some people say there's a crazy hillbilly up there who'll shoot anything that moves. Sounds like a walking cliche. Man, we're all walking cliches in somebody's eyes. <laughs> If I was a tree-dwelling hillbilly, where would I keep my computer parts? Gotcha, you visco, some bitch. I'm not from Fizco. What do I look like, an asshole? Well, maybe not a Fizco asshole, but I'm gonna shoot you anyway, just to be sure. Wait, listen, I'm not Fizco. I'm just here to steal computer parts from you. How'd you think you were gonna do that when I got this here gun? Yeah, I got guns too. Damn! But how do I know you can use them? I'm an American? I can use a cocky son of a bitch like you. Looks good on camera. I need footage for my new show. Get out there and show me what you can do. And don't worry about dying. That looks good on camera too. Thanks, cause I wasn't already creeped out enough by you. Well, I got cameras all over that warehouse down there. If you're as good as you say, we should get some great footage. Sweet. I always wanted to star in the Redneck Running Man. 